Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Yes Exeek here again today to bring you another episode of Yes Exeek is a stubborn fucking asshole and wants a good run on this goddamn ship. That's actually what I'm renaming the series. Pro probably, probably not, but... Um, to be honest, I took some... I t I'm gonna take a page out of Northern Lion's book and actually focus on upgrading my stealth systems first. And I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous that I'm taking advice from Northern Line, as he is generally really bad, but I think that one decision he made is considerably better than what I've been doing, so... Hell, let's, ha let's get to it. Let's actually depower that, power up my stealth, and then cloak. And do this. Fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna be bombed. There, there's no avoiding this bomb that's coming. Hey, there's avoiding the bomb that's coming in. <sighs> Good, because for a second I was afraid it was Dub Bomb. You know how scary Dub Bomb can be. Okay, fortunately he's entirely dead. Unfortunately, I did take a hit after he was entirely dead. So now I need to heal at least one of my guys. A bit, a tiny bit. I get by with a little health with uh, with a little health for my fairy. I get high with a little health of my fairy. It sounds like it's, I have a fairy that I keep prisoner and like suck its blood. Sorry if that sounds awful, but th th that's what I'm getting out of this. That is what I am getting out of this. So, advantages I have. Again, I have long range scanners. I have the ability to trade one fuel for five missiles. It's a really good deal, but I don't have a missile launcher, so I'm going to ignore the fuck out of that and just fight these two ships here. Hopefully no drones. Uh, they have a drone. It's a combat drone. My beam isn't even powered up. Okay, so the first shot that it landed actually started two fires. And I was afraid for a second it would only start one fire. Okay, that missed, thankfully. Um, now I cloak and do this. I'll lose oxygen really quickly, hopefully, because um, I did turn off my O2 for the sake of cloaking. Turn the O2 back on. Don't burn down the oxygen, please. I would very much appreciate it. And now, leave it to luck. Oh, there goes my O2. I'm perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. And I actually did manage to get it. Um, I'm going to need two people to repair the O2 here because um, there's no oxygen in the O2 room. I may even need three people in order to do it. So I'm paused. Let's move these two into here. Refocus the beam just like this. And hope, hope and pray and pray and hope. I guess I can close all doors at this point. Get ready to open them all to get oxygen back a tiny bit faster. Get these two back to the med bay. Because why the fuck not? Glaive beams should be done very soon. Power up the med bay and I've won this fight. Although I could have lost this fight just as easily if I had been unlucky. Even the smallest bit unlucky. But I only need 50 scrap in order to get that third level of... Beam of sorts. Beam sorts. Beam sorter. It, it sorts all my beams. Beam sorter. I believe you can get me through the night. So if I can get that third level of goddamn stealth, I'll be fine. Intervene and defend the outpost. They have two weapons, so they should not have a drone. They have a drone. Except it's a defense drone. What are they going to hack? They hacked my weapons. Oh, what a bunch of dicks. Okay, fortunately they should only have level 1 hacking. I'm not sure how they have such a well-equipped ship this early in the game. But let's try to cloak through this crap. <laughs> they managed to hit my stealth anyways. Because fuck you, game. Might as well focus this beam at least. I, I doubt I'll even be able to get the chance to use it. Oh, they took down my door system and my pilot. And they're hacking my weapons again. Wow. Pretty much ideal, really. <laughs> there goes my weapons. Okay, well, shit, let's restart this. Yeah! Okay. Attempt number two. Couldn't, there was, there was nothing else I could have done. I, th that was not my fault. Investigate, try to communicate peacefully, I get an NG. I gotta say, that's a pretty fucking good start. That's a pretty good fart. Start farting. You heard me. Take my advice. The farting's all that matters. All you need is farts. You know what? You know what would be less risky? To actually switch these guys' positions 
and use him as the engine power and then just have this running on regular ass power regular ass power that's what I think would be better here I'm going to attack the slaver scum ideally I would like to kill the slaver scum instead of actually getting a slave I don't actually need an extra person right now so let's see one two three four five six seven yes that will indeed kill him remember power up my this to full those have both fired get full engines up to hopefully dodge these Perfect. O2 back up. And I'm good to go. And by good to go, I mean I'm going to kill this asshole. Okay, so I could accept a fish. Or I could take some scrap. Let's accept fish, actually. He can go in the O2 room for now. Actually, I might as well have him in the sensors just for the fuck of it. I know I said I could use the scrap more, but it's really hard for me to turn down crew, especially when I'm gonna need some crew to, like, man a, a station later on. A hopeful shield station that might happen. I will give them fuel, they will give me scrap. Lovely. I had a bit of extra fuel from some encounter beforehand, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. So remember the strategy here, I can actually take out quite a bit of their weapons, and actually maybe even most of the ship, if I actually plan this properly and get three rooms at the very, very last second possible. So I can't power up my um, engines one extra step here, but these will both fire at the same time, and then I can cloak like a mofo, flow like a moclo. There we go. So the stunner actually did hit, but I should be able to fire the glade beam and it will take out their shield and then it will damage their weapons. Now they only have the Island Stunner left, so I can do this. And that will kill the shit out of them. Ooh, unless of course they hit my weapons with this Island Stunner once. Oh, what do you know, they hit my stealth. What a bunch of dick bags. Hey, dick bags, hey. Ooh. This goes out to all my hoes. Oh no, not my O2. My O2 is fine. Okay. Power up stealth. Now I need 11 more in order to get the power that I need to power up my stealth to, stealth to full. Should be easy enough. I'll go down here, fight one more ship. I can even use the full stealth if I really need to. Which I do because I have a beam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to fire. And then I'm actually going to power... Oh, can't power down my engines. So I'm going to power down my O2 temporarily to power up my stealth. If necessary, I can always move this guy into the O2. There we go, stealth. And then I should be able to fire the glaive beam before anything too horrible happens to me. Yeah, like that. And that should kill them in one hit. The glaive beam should also have time to power up. I'm actually going to leave and go into the O2 room because I like having some power here. You know, just tango in there. Hanging out. Hanging out, hanging out in the O2, have myself a party, or something like that. There we go. Now I repower the goddamn O2, or the engines. I have 25 scraps, so I can actually upgrade my reactor and get this fully powered normally, and that will allow me to cloak through beams. So I am hopefully set. I'm golden. Pony boy, accept. Add a quest marker to my map. Where is it, man? You gotta tell me, okay. This is actually a really good place for this quest because it's somewhere that I thought I would end up going anyways. I'm never gonna surrender my crew member to slavers, especially on a ship that I can beat so goddamn easily. Okay, so what I'm gonna want to do is, um... Probably this right here so I can end in the weapons and maybe do a tiny bit of extra damage. They should fire both of those at me and I should be able to avoid them easily. Well, not easily. Actually, that one hit. So, you know, at least the door system prevents fire from spreading too quickly. So I should be able to put it out with um, a good amount of oxygen going on. I mean, a good amount of no oxygen going on. I still have a hard time deoxygenating. The thing is, do I need Steven? Not really, is, is the answer there. Actually, ooh. Okay, I'm actually going to accept the offer of Steven. 
And the reason I'm doing this is because you are far more useful just hanging out in the cloakroom, which is fairly central. I should actually power up the O2 here in order to get, you know, the O2 powered up. And you can be our door guy. Um, it's good to have an NG just free to do stuff because the NG, well, can repair really fast. And, you know, so I'll probably need that at some point. Maybe in the weapons room. More distress. So much distress. There's distress in this galaxy. Okay, so what I'm... Hmm. I'm going to stress first, then quest, then or then nebula, then quest, then exit. I promise to help. Remotely repair it. So, remotely repair the targeting system. I figure a repaired is system is better than a disabled system, like 100% of the time. It's too bad I haven't gotten anything to sell or any substantial scrap rewards here. A really crappy trade station. A really crappy trade federation. Upgraded reactor? Sure, thank you. I appreciate that. And the exit. So that was pretty much a 25 scrap reward, or was it a 20? I don't really know. I will intervene and defend the outpost. They only have weapons and cloaks. Can't get enough of that cloaking ship. You can never get enough. I'm just gonna wait for those to fire. Cloak. I don't even have to reallocate power usage. Which sounds way more intense than I actually meant it to. And this will kill it in one hit. I'd normally focus on the weapons, but I guess I can anyways. It's not like they can prevent me from actually killing them here. They might be able to cloak rather quickly, actually. So, I, I may, uh, yeah, in a tiny bit of trouble here, I could take a hit or two. And if those hits come in too fast, they could hit my weapons, and they didn't. Actually, they both missed. Well, that was damn lucky. Damn, damn lucky. And I'm at the exit, I can go to the next sector, and... Normally I don't like abandoned sectors, but you know, this one's not actually all that bad. Because it leads to a bunch of... hmm. So there's no way to move to the bottom, which has more of these hostile sectors, which I actually like. But it's only two hostile sectors no matter what. So I might as well go for the early, easy hostile sectors, where I get a lot of... Well, where I can get early good scrap is a bit like really good scrap, but earlier. Attack the pirate. Okay, they actually can board us. Fortunately, they are boarding us with a human and not with, um, well, something worse. So you're stuck in there. That is good with me. I will just take the O2 out of these two rooms, and then you'll be fucked wherever you have to fight me. And all you have is a single ion stunner, which I might as well cloak out of the way of, but... Tell you what, I'll, I'll actually let you out of there. So that's a sensor room. You know, I'm actually gonna let him break into here, and then I'm gonna close this door, and I'm gonna let him fight these two at the same time. Start here, go into there, and oh, I should actually be able to get all of those rooms. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Let's close these doors now. He will die super easily, his ship is dead, and my, oh, they repaired my hole. Is that all they did? They also gave me a decent amount of scrap. Lovely. So I'm, I'm liking this so far, apparently my big mistake has over and over again been not upgrading my stealth system. I saw, I saw NL do it once where he upgraded the stealth system early and then everything else went fucking dandy for him, so I was like, well, maybe I should do that. And that's how I found myself in this position. And gotta give credit where credit is due here. Okay, so very easy. These should charge at almost exactly the same time, if I'm not mistaken. And then I can do my usual fucking kill everything beam. It's actually what the beam is called in official marketing documents. Well, not exactly exactly at the same time, but pretty close. Whoa, that hit the engine anyways. See, that's why having an engine is so nice. He can just go over here and help repair that shit. Not that it would have mattered anyways, but sometime it could matter. Go, shit be dead. I've only taken one hole damage. Well, actually, I got some repairs. I don't know exactly how much hole damage I've taken. Now, this is scary. I could go to that shop, but I don't have anything to sell, and I'd be really upset if there was a shield system in that shop. Okay, well, here's another store. I have a tiny bit more money this time. Still not enough for shields. This is what I desperately, desperately want. But they do have a weapon pre-igniter. 
Fuck. And another glade beam if I wanted it. Okay. Let me check this out. I can go to this distress beacon, then jump back, then jump there. I have lots of time. The fleet is not very close to me. We're all good. Send the rock crew member in, contact the survivors. I got stealth weapons! Holy fuck! Am I about to get stealth weapons and weapon pre-igniter in two jumps? Fuck yeah is the answer. I'm gonna be upset with myself if I lose this shit. Okay, jump here. And this is an early sector too, so basically this is gonna mean that I will often just kill things in one hit before they even have a chance to fight back? Um, no fucking thank you. You just die. You die like the dogs you are, like Dog the Bounty Hunter. I'm pretty sure he's not dead, but I, I don't know. I, I've never watched Dog the Bounty Hunter, and I don't care in all honesty. Intruders on board. Intruders? Yeah, let's move these two up here. Need to heal that anyways. I will also open this door for when they finally try to escape, which should be soon. Why is this not going down? Okay, they should have to get out of there soon, indeed. And then I will actually move all my humans in here. Oh, I actually let them through by doing that. That's all right, though. I should be able to win this fairly easily. I can close all doors, get my NG to start repairing shit, get you to start repairing shit. And they didn't actually do any damage to my hull, which is advantageous enough, I guess. Okay. Who's low health? You are low health. You get the fuck out of there. Rockman is tough. He can deal with all this jazz that's going on. Unfortunately, I have to heal my guys two at a time. Which isn't ideal, but it's alright. It's alright, it's alright. And every single one of my crew members is currently hurt. Sucks a tiny bit. Sucks a tit bit. Tit bit sucks. It's a tuck sits butt. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I think you were our doorman. I think you were the doormost. I remember what the doormost said. Feed your head. There we go. Heal these two. You are actually our pilot, not our weapons man. Sing us a song, you're the weapons man. Sing us a song tonight. Cause we're all in the mood for a melody. And you've got us feeling alright. There we go. That's where everybody belonged. I haven't actually saved positions yet, so I had to remember that. Which kind of sucked. But, you know, I'm, I'm all good now. I got my shit together. I'm going to attack... Um, okay. Help metal monsters try to contact the Lania ship. Ignore them and continue. Okay, fair enough. I guess you want to die instantly, huh? Hmm. If I do it a bit higher, I can probably get four rooms. Tiny bit higher again. Higher and higher and high. Hmm. Maybe if I start here and do this, yeah, there we go. That'll do the trick. Now nah, you're you're done. I can't even spare your life if I wanted to. Actually, you didn't give me the option. Cause we're all in the mood for a melody, and you got us feeling all right. Did I never heal these two? Attempt to harvest some for yourself. They attack us. I kill them. Oh, this weapon pre-igniter stealth weapon thing is ridiculous. Investigate the debris. I managed to get quite a bit of debris from that. Okay. So I can actually make the jump here, then here, and then there. Just barely, but I can do it. Just barely. Oh, drone, huh? Well, fuck you too. And I can just do that again. I can stealth if I need to, but I doubt I will. I'm so happy about this run. This was like the luckiest fucking two jumps in my history. I'll need some more weapons now, but I will be at a gigantic advantage for like the next sector and a half. Except I think they start having two shields next sector, so I should maybe try to get a hold of a weapon. Or is it the sector after that? I forget. I forget. Inquire about the process. Um, who? I could really use a weapon? Repair burst. Really? 
You're giving me fucking repair burst? I gave you 50 fucking scrap. I guess it's it was a chance. It was a gamble. I can't give you that miss I can't give you them missiles, I'm afraid. I'd really like to after I just lost all that scrap. Um I will go to the NG homeworlds here, I think. Yeah. I guess officially speaking in the Zoltan homeworlds, I think you can get the rock crew member or the crystal stasis pod and get them to research it, but you can also do that in the NG crew in the NG world. It's just a tiny bit less likely. I'm just going to ooh. I'm just going to attack them. Okay, so they do have a drone and it's a beam drone level 2. And unfortunately, I have to try to do all the damage I can to it like this and then let them beam me a tiny bit and then do it again. Now I'm just hoping he doesn't focus on my weapons at any point. It doesn't seem like it so far. Glade Beam is half charged, which means I can cloak. So this is why I tried so desperately to get myself a weapon. I get myself a weapon and I ride into the city. I make a lot of noise because the weapons, they are so pretty. There you go. And now I have one. To be honest, I should probably do it like this. It'll be one damage. Two damage, three damage, now. Best to keep everything offline just in case their weapons could come back online soon or sooner or later. I just want to make sure I don't take any damage here, especially from that fucking drone, which can now... Oh, oh. Why have you done this to me? Drone! I don't need your drone money. So this is real bad. Um, I might just jump away. In which case, I probably should have sent the NG over to the piloting station instead. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm a going. I can't deal with this fight. Arrive in small fleet. NG ship simply decryption. Fan frantic discussion about something obviously troubled them. Crew member communicated with the ship. Our goal. Offer your help, added quest marker. Secret technology stolen by Mantis. Oh, is this an NG nano repair? No, that's if I give them a fuck ton of money. Okay, well, at least this does equal a lot of battles. I, I do know this quest, and I get a defense drone mark, too. Almost makes it worthwhile to try to find myself, um, well, a defense uh, drone control system. Okay, so they're trying to get away. They are just instantly going to die. Command information, um, ignore them and attack. Perfect. Then I can just do that again. Their weapons are entirely down. They don't have FTL. Even if they do, I have a cloak. So I be all good. Oh, they're going to get some shields back online. How cute. How very adorable of you. Oh, they actually have a weapon online too. I might have needed to dodge there. Possibly. Continue. Oh, distress. Yeah, I can't make it to the distress beacon. I'm sorry, dude. I tried my best. I tried so hard and got so far. That's a really nice jump. This store is going to be very much worth my while. My while. My wily coyote. Okay, so they're powering up their engines right away, too. They do have some fairly scary weapons, but I can disable a lot of them right away. Demand information. Oh, I have to let them go. Okay. So then I go to the distress, or store, distress, quest, and then probably the exit. This this um whole sector sorted itself self out almost perfectly. I could get a drone control, and I do have a defense drone mark too. What do I have as my third? Oh, I have long range scanner. Hmm. A defense drone Mark II would probably make my ship a lot more powerful. I'm going, and it comes with a defense drone Mark I. I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Oh, but shields. Okay, wait a second. If I buy shields, I have 40. Then I can sell the repair burst and the defense drone and pick up a drone control. 
Now I just need to get myself a bunch of goddamn power. I wish I could have bought some Zoltans there too, but didn't have time. Ain't no time. Promise to help them, yes. Um, remotely repair its targeting system. Get a bunch of scrap. Move on. You know, I should probably go ahead and invest that right away in some power. There we go. And if I get two more power, I can start investing in a defense drone. I would also not mind a battery at this point. Quest time. Okay, so they have two bars of shields and a boarding system. I do have lots of spare crew, so I'm not too concerned about them being able to board. I can actually just defend fairly easily. And then I can start attacking quite easily, and I should maybe even just auto-fire this shit? Yeah, I'm gonna turn auto-fire on on the glaive beam. This is an easy win for me here. Um, I'll have to try to avoid that bomb somehow. Dub bomb. Try to avoid dub bomb. Nobody can avoid dub bomb. Now I cloak. I think you can actually avoid these by cloaking. It seems so. So far in my experience, it seems to work out. Uh, doorman is definitely doing his job here. Just remember what the doorman said. Feed your head. Are they trying to get away or are they trying to fight me? It doesn't say FTL delayed, so I'm assuming they're actually trying to fight me. Um, they do have their weapons online. I only have a defense drone Mark 1, so this thing is actually going to hit me, and if it hits me in the weapons, I could be fucked, so I'm gonna move you in here just- Oh wait, I have a shield! Ha ha ha! I even forgot that shit. Back to the door room, you over here, power down the med bay. Victorious, they project commissioned by Federation Research Division, advanced stealth cruiser, project finish, ask them about magic shit, transmit the coordinates. <laughs> I, I can't take it. I'm afraid I cannot take it. It sells for a lot. It probably sells for more than it would cost to them. Um, can I just like put it in? I should be able to throw that in my cargo. Come on. I forgot about that quest. That's the one to unlock the stealth cruiser. Let's go over to the exit. And then I'll even jump down to that next sector, especially if there's combat down there. This is a good price, but I'm just going to avoid it and get myself an extra bar of power. So this is a distress beacon and there is fighting here, hopefully. But what I still desperately need is another weapon. Weapon, oh weapon, joy, oh joy. A one weapon man's what I wanna be. But there's two perfect weapons for me. So they're gonna repair shit super fast, so I'd rather take down their weapons and prevent them from charging as fast. Nah, I, nah, this is a tough one. You know, I think I'd rather kill them for the extra scrap. This offer sucks, and I should be able to dodge everything they can throw at me here. So let's power this up. Especially if I um, were to power down my engines by one and power up my defense drone. I do have a lot of drone parts. <laughs> okay, fair enough, man. You, you want to do that? I'm, I'm good with an I'm good with an NG fighting my human in the sensor room. It was the NG with the human in the sensor room, right? That's the answer. Lovely. They be down entirely. Continue. I got like 15 more scrap for my troubles, but not much fuel. I could really use a shop soon. Let's bring you up here. Disable my defense drone. Power this up. Power this up as well. I do got the extra power. And now I have even more extra power. Mmm, a delicious power. Now, what could I use next? Either hacking or mind control would be really good. Mind control specifically because I think it helps out most in the second phase of the, or the third phase of the rebel flagship fight. Let's get you back in here. I should probably have a shield man at this point. So I'm going to throw this human on. No, I have an NG for that. Actually, no, this human can be here. The NG can be the, the sensor guy because, you know, I, I want him still to be fairly mobile. 
which is definitely a, a first second I was afraid I hadn't actually plugged in my microphone. That'd be the second time I've done that for like an hour long episode of goddamn FTL. Oh, that made me nervous. So I'm going to have to jump to a fight because I really need fuel and hopefully they give me like fuel as a surrender condition here. Um, they only have two. I'm going to attack the hell out of this ship and I'm going to of course start in the shields and work my way up to this. Unfortunately, I just did one damage all around, but I should still be fine, especially if they just fire one weapon at a time. I'll be fine if they fire one weapon at a time. Okay, this time they're charging them up. So I don't know about this. Two weapons, that means cloak for me. Lovely. Lovely cloak for me. Clo cloak for me, my lovelies, if you give a fucking care. I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm gonna have some of this coffee here. Now I think since they had a hard time charging, I should be able to glade beam them before that's up. Ooh. Okay, they're charging several shots now. <sighs> Ow, they hit in a fucking spread. And I have no fuel. I can't repair. NG, I need your help. Help me, NG1 Kenobi. You're my only hope. Okay, that's going after my stealth. I'm fine with that. That missed. I'm also fine with that. Um, Rockman. I can't allow my stealth to go down. My stealth went down. I thought I said I couldn't allow that. Okay, let's try this again, but better. Actually, this kills them. This kills them. Three fuel, yes. O2 is down. It's very important that I repair that as soon as possible. To be honest, like, everything's down. There were no missiles I could block there, so that sucked. You two go repair this and this. You repair this. Um, both of these guys are... Actually, a lot of my guys are low health currently. So probably time to file into the med bay. Or file near the med bay, at least. The only person who isn't damaged is my rock man. Rock man, come together with your hands. Save me. You get in here and heal hands. His name's not hands, but it's the only thing that worked. You guys get in here. You are my captain. You are my sh sensors. You two are healed. Just go back to your original positions. Actually, you go sensors. You, oh, fuck. You go here. There we go. There we go. Got it. I got three extra fuel that will do me for at least a little while and there is a store right there where I'll be able to buy extra fuel so you know one two three fuel I'm gonna actually jump around first jump around get up get up and get down something like that nothing there so that jump was worthless this one is combat combat baby combat baby um fuck this ship hardcore So, I think this is where I cloak. Fortunately, that all misses, and now they can't charge their ion properly. My glaive beam is useless, so I have to get away. I, I got no other choice. I got no choice, and I cannot lie. I really need another fucking weapon now. People are starting to have three shields, although this one seems ridiculous. Redonkadonk, <laughs> my engines. Fortunately, that doesn't matter, and I have an extra NG hanging out right here for this very purpose. For my berry porpoises. I don't even know what that means. There you go. NG, do your rounds. Next time they fire, I can just dodge. Or I can try to dodge. Ooh, it still took down my shields. At least they can't charge up the weapons temporarily. I know the shields are critical. You don't gotta fucking tell me. 
The situation's goddamn critical. I can't make any scrap as if I can't kill people. Combat baby, combat baby, this combat really sucks. Don't hit my engines, you fucking dickbag, scum. I don't know. Okay, so what do they have here? What do they have today? What do they have today? What do they have today? What do they have? Ion Stunner might be the way to go. Yeah. Now I just need the money to run it. Which is only 50, 60, 75 more. That's a lot more, actually. Oh yeah, I also have to buy fuel. I can only afford two. Do I have anything to sell? No. Okay. Carry on my wayward me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Pulsar. Asteroid field. I'd rather jump into the Pulsar, because um, the asteroid field could very well kill me. Okay, so this fight is actually pretty easy. They do have a missile launcher, and I, I'm going to want to dodge those. And actually, I can attack them right away, so I should have probably done that just to start. Except I want to actually wait for the Pulsar to come in. Except it could take down my Glaive Beam. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Um, make this fucking brutal. And also stealth, because why the fuck not? Pulsar imminent, please don't disable my cloaking. Medbay doesn't need to be up. Engines do. And there goes my shields and my um, pulsar wasn't actually disabled. Fuck. I mean my glade beam. And there goes their shields. So I could have killed them in one hit. Oh, it's just a fire drone. Okay, that I can deal with. Three fuel, 21 scrap. I could really use the three fuel, so I have to take it, kind of. I could put my Rockman in there at this point. It might be a good idea, but I think the fire will go out on its own. And let's get the fuck out of here. Jump into a nebula. I'd ride into the side, da 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 da, and I'd jump into the nebula. I'll try to track them, and I get a shield slash weapon personnel. How's my current weapon personnel? Scoops. Pretty bad, so you go and just hang out with this NG in the sensor room, and you can be my new weapon or shields. Actually, it's harder to level up shields. How's Steven doing? Pretty bad. You go into shields, you keep up your weapon work, and you hang out with the NG. Got a few too many humans here. Distress, probably where I want to go next chance of getting scrap and resources without actually having to fight. <laughs> this is going to be a fight. Oh, yes, trade. Trade. Oh, that is so delicious. Delicious fuel. It tastes so good. Um, okay. Destroy cargo ship. Let's do long range scanners, I guess. I get 26 scrap. I need 75 in order to make this work. I'd rather not do combat until I get the Ion Stunner up. Listen to their offer, agree to rescue the store, quest our marker added to over here. Okay, well. I'm not even sure if I can rescue this store, but I'll try. Engage. Okay, they only have two. Oh, Jesus, that is actually real rough. They do have a teleporter, but I do have all their things down quite a bit. Really, guys? My O2? Okay, I actually have to fight them in here to, to try to avoid my O2 going down, which would be a fucking catastrophe of, like, the first order. Then I cloak for this. My engines are powered up to max. You go over here. You just head over here. They can try to break through a door. 
I, there's nobody in that room, so I can just take the oxygen out while they die. Perfect. Th this works out for me. And uh, they be dead. Five hole points repaired and 30 scrap brings me up to 75, which means I could get the mind control. But I really want the weapon active. I need the weapon active. I absolutely need this weapon to be active, right? That's, that's not an option. So let's go and power up my weapons and power up my sensors. Get this thing online. This thang online. Close all doors. Where is our new shields person? Damaged. You're our doors guy, right? Actually, a lot of our people need health here. And I should probably go ahead and heal them. How did so many people take damage? You are our shields guy. You are Mr. Doors. You go in here. And that's almost everybody. Engines in here. Steven is... Who is Steven? Oh yeah, Steven's a spare. And you go here, Captain. Scoops has a bit of health missing, but not too much. I can deal with that. And let's start going to the exit, I guess. I, I not, couldn't think of what to say there. Um, improve sensors. Use my sensors to scan the wreckage. I get a bunch of stuff, including fuel, which I kind of needed. So next sector. That didn't go too badly. I'll go to the NG controlled, as they are likely, likely to give me a bunch of good stuff. The thing is, I'm very low on scrap, and I'm not sure why I'm so low on scrap. I figured I would have gotten more scrap being so overpowered near the beginning of this game. But look at the amount of ship upgrades I have. It's like nothing. Nothing at fucking all. So let's um, start with Ion Stunner on shields, of course. They miss. I'm going to wait until Ion Stunners hit on shields in order to get them, because then I can guarantee that the they'll go down a level. There we go. So now it'll go down to zero shields, and then I can pretty much kill them. Oh no, not quite down to zero shields. I forgot the damage doesn't stack like that. I'm just waiting for that missile to fire in order to dodge. Okay, you know what? Now's probably a good time to evade. There goes down some of my shields. I can always turn on my defense drone in order to block that missile, which I will actually do immediately. Glaive Beam will hit and kill the fuck out of them. Awesome. Now, I'm, I'm, this is not a perfect setup. I could use another weapon or two and a bunch of fucking scrap, but it's pretty close to what I wanted. Including all the augments. I have the augments perfectly where I want them. Okay, they're trying to get away. Fairly simple solution. Ion Stunner, they have quite the weapons loaded on them. Ion Stunner makes it super easy for me to do this. Like a dick. They have boarded me. They have boarded me in an unideal location for them. Two humans, huh? You guys can get the fuck out of there. And distract them for a bit while... Actually, you know what? Distract them for even a bit more. Until they start damaging you. There we go. Now you guys can try to get through there. I will cloak as they are firing quite a bit right now. I'll also power that up. And you know... Oh, I can't move that guy. My shields aren't going to be hit anytime too soon. Let's get four people in here. Close all doors. Two versus four should be fine. And Glaive Beam should take them out. Lovely. Yeah. People need healing because that combat didn't go really ideally. And I keep forgetting to save positions. God damn me. Okay, Scoops is clearly the person who's meant to be there. Um, there's also my shields guy, which is Kara here. Okay, you two are here. I'm just trying to remember where everybody is, and then I can save the positions finally. Kara's our shields person. Girl, I guess. Which is probably, probably a girl's name. 
Not entirely sure, but I apologize if there's any guys named Kara. Save the stations and keep on jumping. Jumping down to New Orleans, jumping. Aid the civilian ship. I'm gonna be boarded here is the main problem. I should really upgrade my doors a bit. I'm probably even... You're boarding me... Oh, no, you're boarding me with two of them. I don't want to be boarded. So that's why I did that. Hopefully that hits. That does indeed hit. Which means I can do quite a bit of damage to their systems here. Oh, I should really hit their weapons, actually. There we go. They're not being piloted anymore, but I will be boarded. You know what? Just as a like countermeasure, just starting out, I'm going to open these doors here. Take some of the oxygen out of my ship. I do have um, stealth weapons, so my weapons firing is no big problem. And they started out in the perfect location. I'm going to get my weapons guy the fuck out of there and open this up. Mantises do not take long to break down doors of this level. Glaive beam should fire again shortly. Um, likely they will withdraw. Oh, Isn't that bad. Okay, you guys get attempt to contact the civilian ship. I, I needed to repair the O2 there. Perfect. And I, did I save not save positions again? Okay, these two heal first. These two get in there. They're, they're, I, I know where everybody belongs in this small group. So, not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Getting weapons. Getting doors. That's not annoying at all. I'll stop that before, some, before everybody unsubscribes. And see what is going on up here. It's a trap! Thanks, Admiral Akbar. Um, might as well just start firing ion stunners right away on shields. Maybe I can even get them down to a level where I can... Oh, it's a defense drone Mark II. That ain't good. It is almost literally impossible that I can hit this ship. I'll see, but I, I think it is actually literally impossible, yep. Well, shit. At least I can charge up my engines and run away. Defense drone Mark II is just too good. It's too good for me. I could really use upgrading my ship, but I also really want another weapon. Ow, that really hurt. Let's get these two in here. They're my spare crew. They can hang out. Jump. Jump, pogo, 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 pogo. Hey, got a pike beam. That wasn't really what I was thinking when I said I wanted another weapon, but, you know, I, I appreciate the thought game. Finally saved all these positions. You'll be happy to know, or I'm happy to know at least. Because I was being a bit of a dick. Okay, they have three shields. I will attack the ship. I really should upgrade my doors. They don't actually have a boarding station. So, that's news to me. And this is a double fire and this is a triple fire? Hmm. And I didn't have anything powered up. I am an idiot, ha 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 ha. I am an idiot, ha 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 ha. Okay, that's down temporarily, but I can bring it up really quickly here. Quickly enough to have it up before they fire. Which is perfect. Ion Stunner can auto-fire on shields. You two can go back to where you belong, midship. Which is perfect. And Glade Beam can start firing sooner or later. I, I probably should have fired when it was down once. I was hoping that I could get it down too. I have my drones down a bit. But apparently I was just an idiot and I should not have hoped for that. Okay, better. Uh, 
Okay, jump away. Jump away, go to a store, I need to heal. And to buy... God damn, I just want a weapon. Any weapon will do. Okay, so I spent a bunch of my money there. I will sell nothing because I have nothing to... Well, yes, I do have something to sell. I have a goddamn pike beam that I have no use for. Head to the store, no... Head to the ship, upgrade it a bit. I could really use two of these and two of these and four of these. And I still have two left, one left over in case I want to power down something and use my defense drone. There haven't been many missiles since I got a defense drone. I could more easily fight that ship now, but not very easily. Um, okay, receive, they're looking for military supplies and are offering to try to prove your reactor. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't have any use for those. Okay, I'm going to actually jump back to this fight since I now have my weapons powered up. Like, not an idiot and some more advantages. Move you guys over here, start with an ion stunner, and then just move on from there. Oh, Now, why in fuck's name would I do that, huh? Okay, at least um, I don't even really need my cloak in order to avoid damage from this ship, but I will cloak anyways because that's really scary. You guys come over here, do some damage. Excellent, keep on ion stunning the fuck out of that. Hopefully they will have a hard time repairing it with the ion stunner hitting all the time. Piloting's also down, so they have no evade rate. This cannot hurt me, so I'm fine just leaving it to its own devices. And the stunner is really doing some work here. I love the stunner for this reason. And they be dead. Awesome. Despite my mistakes, I still have a very powerful ship. I'm happy with that. And I should be able to jump down there and then to the exit. System repair drone, that makes good sailable later on. And I have sorted this shit out perfectly. Flat gun mark one, that'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Battle flu, paddle glue, paddle glue? Could also power up a system repair drone in case I need it. I will actually just attack this, it has no shields. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty intimidating, I'll admit, but it's considerably less intimidating when dead. Investigate the station, quite a bit of stuff. I need 90 more to upgrade at once. So next sector, I will go to <laughs> Slughome Nebula is tempting, but I'd rather go to Zoltan. Is there more likely to help me out? Help me out, bro. Help a bro out, man, mang. Combat, combat, nebula, nebula. Let's go combat. I'm not sure if I'll be able to deal with combat here, but I can always hope. So they do have a missile launcher. I could just activate the defense drone for that. And that might actually be a really good idea. That hit, so that means I can instantly start doing damage. And the Ion Stunner should keep them from repairing it too quickly. Intruders detected. Whoa. On some. Take the fuck over here. Yeah, there's what we want. Four versus two. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I play it, uh-huh, uh-huh. So they are having a very hard time repairing, as is the plan. And hopefully I should just be able to tear through them with this, then. Let's return everybody to their original positions here. Their oxygen is still down, and their shields are not back up, which is very nice. Oxygen's still down, and they are dying. Oh, I think you're dying in and out of a love with a me. Thing is, I need that to hit before I attack them. And they seem to actually have an odd number of shield bars here, which is really too bad. Okay. Worked out perfectly. Surrender, it's a pretty good offer, but I don't need it. So we will not accept surrender, I think, is how we're going to go with that. Weapons keep being down. 
is good. I can actually probably start sending people to my med bay now. Power this down. I, I don't even need the evade chance because I have the missile defense. <laughs> They're just going to die of oxygen deprivation if I keep this up and they don't die. Well, they just died, so I guess that's kind of a moot point. Scoops and Fairy both need healing. I don't even know if those were Scoops and Fairy. I, I think they were. Kara and Fish need healing, so you get up here because you just lumber your fucking way everywhere. Scoops their weapon guy? Yeah. Scoops be weapons. Okay, things are going decently. I have enough to get this and an extra bar of that. Which means if I depower the med bay and power up the flat cannon, and set it to auto fire again, of course, I'm all set. Defense drone off, this up. Everybody back to their positions. Return to your positions. Wrong positions. Why do we even have those positions? Move over here. And I'm finally starting to feel like this run is coming together right now over me. So intruders on board is not ideal. I want some distraction for them, so I'm going to move these two down here just temporarily. And then now move them up. And they should not be able to take out any of my stealth. Let's go flak ion stunner first. And then let's get these guys in here. And you in here. This is actually a very dangerous invasion force because they will all blow up. So let's get you guys out of here. Oh, they can, oh. Hmm, like I said, very dangerous. They just took out my door system. You get the fuck over there. You can take this guy out. And now with the glaive beam, it's finally time to fire and to take out some of these fucking weapons. Okay, one second. Okay. Things could have gone worse there. I'm just going to keep auto firing like a motherfucker here. And I should be able to kill the shit out of them. Lovely. Now let's um, take a second and get organized here. These two need to heal. Everybody needs to heal. Except for a fairy. Um, so let's power up the med bay, I guess. Wow. That, that was actually very, very stressful. Not sure if you can tell, but I'm stressed out. Okay. Then you two start healing the doors. You two get up here and heal. Doors all close. You two get up here. Start healing this. You two go wherever you need to heal. Okay. Rough times were had by me. Um, again, the, the, that invasion force wouldn't have been dangerous and I would have dealt with it differently if they were not all Zoltans who would have exploded on me and killed my whole crew. I've had that happen before, it is not very fun, so I'm a bit cautious about it. And everybody can return to their positions, everyone's full health. Let's carry on. My wayward son, there'll be peace when you are done. Okay, so, Ion Stunner, Flak, just to get the most hits possible, and then Glade Beam once that hits or misses. Yeah, 100% down means 100% dead, as corny as that sounds, it's true. Awesome. So I'm back to my one hit kill ways, which is definitely a good thing. Have one extra, one extra reactor power. Could probably use some more reactor and probably some upgrades on my systems too. I'll send an away party to investigate. Nothing was there. Um, and store, I guess. Got nothing better to do, and I have a system repair drone to sell. 
A, de a second defense drone Mark I might be a good idea. Burst laser Mark I is not as good as flak. So let's, let's sell this. Let's actually buy a defense drone. I know I'm probably wasting money at this point and you guys are telling me, no, don't buy that goddamn defense drone, but if I go to my ship, upgrading this twice doesn't cost much, and then two bars of reactor and I can block tons of fucking missiles, I think. Unless they always target the same thing, in which case I've made a horrible mistake. But you know, either way, having an upgraded um, drone system is not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, so let's start with Ion Stunner and Flak. That's why they call me Flak Jones. There we go. And then I will go with my usual strategy of um, trying to get as many in the very last second as possible. There we go. Managed to do some decent damage to things. These can keep firing because I'm an asshole and I like doing damage. And I should actually probably start firing them on the shields instead. So they just fire two shots at me. That won't even get through my shield. Their beam is down, so no risk there. Their shields are going down to the river to pray or something. And I'm gonna wait for everything to fire before I even start with this. And they be dead. They be dead locker. Davy Jones's locker. 41 scrap and I move on. Um, I do want to make it to that distress beacon. Distress beacons generally pay out very well. So I'm gonna be heading towards it. Um, choose my Rockmen. I think Rockmen are the easiest, in all honesty. I'll activate one defense drone because. Yikes, okay. Activate one defense drone. And do that. This is why I should really be improving my, um... My goddamn door system. These three over here. Then these open. And now I can actually attack them. Let's go for their shields in all ways and then kill the fuck out of them, I hope. I can start in their shields and I can make it to their weapons and hit four rooms. So I didn't kill them, but I did do a lot of goddamn damage and now their two rockmen are coming to fight like three people. Oh, they're actually leaving. Let's wait for this place to re-oxygenate and then I can return everybody to their positions, get myself some extra evade chance and kill the fuck out of them too. Awesome. Wow, Zoltan Wiseman enters the rift and gives me a bunch of fucking scrap. Distress beacon, distressed bacon, delicious. Promise to help, um, advanced cloaking. NG crew, repair it, 67 scrap. You know what that means? That means for me, some extra dick. By the way, if I get a flat cannon mark two, I can activate it with one more weapon which would be fucking amazing, because seven hits instead of three. Not that much more of a charge time, especially with weapon pre-igniter. Mmm, delicious, juicy, and seedless. For now, we'll do that, and... You know, that's all. That is all, because I'm kind of hoping to come across that Flat Cannon Mark II. I think that'd be a really good thing to do. Check it out. Flat Cannon Mark II! <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I fucking, I didn't just cheat. I swear to God, I did not somehow edit that to make it happen. I even, that, that is, that is as, as unbelievable as I think it is, right? That that just fucking happened right there, right? I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not overplaying this shit for comedy for laughs. That's, that's not what, that's not what's happening. Okay, good, because that was fucking insanity. Like, literal insanity. Um, I'm just going to attack the slaver, because now I'm like a fucking powerhouse of goddamn destruction. 
Oh no, my piloting. I better kill the fuck out of everyone. You know, just in case. Nah. I'm good, guys. Don't worry about it. I don't need no slugs. Let the motherfuckers burn. Next sector, slug-controlled nebula. Well, I do have to go into one nebula, but I don't care at this point because everything's ridiculous. I almost should have taken that slug. I forgot that there was a nebula coming up. But you know, you can't always remember that. Why is my oxygen disabled? Well, fuck you too, ship. Um, they can only shoot three times, I think? And they don't have very good stealth. So let's do this here. And then I'll glade beam the shit out of them. Like the assholes they are. And I'll reset the flak to fire there. It sucks that my oxygen's down. And then the Ion Stunner will actually keep them from repairing. And not to mention I can just cloak now and they'll die. That's always a good thing, I guess. Wow, completely missed there. I forgot that they actually had cloaking too. Oh well, Glaive Beam will take them out anyways, I'm pretty sure. Or almost take them out. I keep um, actually focusing. Here, let's refocus those. I don't like where they're currently firing. My oxygen is indeed running out now. It's not even... Oh god. That's bad. Let's get you guys in here. This could turn out really bad, actually. I might need to power up my med bay. You know, I might need to run away. That's going to take up the oxygen in that room really fast. Okay, so my oxygen is back up and it's powered again. That was actually kind of panicky, I must admit. I must admit, you panicked me. Where's this fire that I can hear? It's in no room that actually matters. Did take some damage there. I probably didn't um, deal with that fight ideally either. Is the fire gone? Interesting. Fairy should probably get into the med bay. Along with, um, you know, I should just heal everybody up and not be lazy about it. I'm pretty sure that is Steven and Kara. No, Steven is this guy? Yeah. Steven and Kara can go in here. You two can return to your positions, or approximately your positions anyways. Power up the med bay. Power back down the med bay and return to positions. I swear I didn't plan that thing with the fucking flat cannon mark two. Just name this fucking episode Premonitions or something of the deadly sort. Okay, so Flak, Ion. I just want Flak to hit on their ship as much as possible. Intruders detected. I wonder if they can actually survive one attack here. Yes, they can. Where are they attacking? Oh, right there. Okay. My doors are currently th level 3, so... They're gonna have a hard time with this. go these two can go heal these two can get back to their positions oxygen should be back soon and everyone back can't go back can't go back to the place I was before so I want as much combat as possible because this sector is just like pure scrap slash maybe picking up a battery is what I want I'll tell you what I want what I really really want I want a, uh, I want a, uh, I want a, uh, I want a. Uh, I really 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 would like a zigzag ah uh? If you wouldn't mind too much. Oh, took their shields down entirely, which means it's time for this. Um, what's in your stores? Fuck you, we will not accept surrender. That one is always a bad option. They can't currently attack us, and um, 
they probably can't even repair their own shields, in all honesty, so I'll just keep this up here. Because the Ion Center will keep them permanently stunned, right? And that weapon, the flat cannon will do a lot of damage to their weapons, taking out their big missile. Glade Beam can come across and just kill the fuck out of them. Awesome. 62 more scrap. Ooh, did I actually plan for myself to have a way out of this sector? Intruders? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. So same strategy as last time. Get you out of the engines. It unfortunately powers down my dodge chance quite a bit, but that's all right. Um, flat cannon, ion cannon, and then glaive beam shortly after. And let's start with their O2 and just get go all kinds of nuts from there. Let's move these two into here so they're forced to get into one-on-one -on -one combat when they go in. Close all doors. Those two are very easy to heal if you remember properly. And I can just like double team them, or quadruple team them. I guess double team is correct in that case. In that particular case. Wow, I should really have cloaked earlier. Whew. Okay, you two get healed up. You two back to your positions. Oh, you're already healed up? Oh no, they disabled my med bay. I see. It doesn't matter, med bay disabling is now done. I wish there was like an augment that allowed you to disable a random part of their ship. That'd be awesome. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't actually plan for a way for me to get out of there, but it doesn't matter anyways because I'm lucky. Because I'm incredibly fucking lucky in every way, shape, and form this run. I've gotten exactly what I've asked for. Apparently I haven't known what I should want, though, because I'm currently sitting on a lot of goddamn scrap. So let's go flak right here. Ion stunner right there. And then, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens from there. Excellent. That's enough happening for me. Did they just fire a missile? Did I see a missile fire? Or is the missile offline? I can never tell with those gigantic ass missiles. Fortunately, that all missed just on its own. I think the missile is entirely down. Oh, you're powering up your FTL, are you? Um, what's in your stores? Nope. I'm afraid not. Untrustworthy assholes. Boy effect. More, more combat, please. Look at how much scrap I have. I'm just trying to save up as much scrap as I can possibly get in one run. I can jump back to the store from here. Hail them. Um, they want, yeah, I'll trade fuel for missiles. Store, store, and combat. Let's see what's in the store. I think there was something I wanted in the store. Battery, yeah, I want a battery. Or hacking, hmm. I'd rather mind control, but hacking is pretty tempting. I can always come back for that. So let's go to the... No, I can't always come back for that. I'm going to bank on there being what I want in the next store, which is stupid, but you know, I've been incredibly lucky so far, like actually incredibly literal defi original definition of the word type incredibly where it's not credible how lucky I have been thus far in the game oops glade beam can fortunately this is a really good setup for avoiding like the most damage I can possibly do unfortunately for them I don't think they can actually get by my shields and now I'm going to actually set the flat cannon to attack elsewhere. Flat cannon will do a lot of damage, especially if they don't manage to repair the shields too well. The, the reason you always want um, flat cannon to be in a large open area of the ship because if it hits outside the rooms, it won't actually inflict damage when they land. So th that's the reason for that. Let's actually cloak through this shit. No reason not to really. Flat cannon going. 
everything be down and they be dead. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Five fuel. I don't really need it. We will not accept surrender. And to be honest, the, the surrender offer was actually better than what I got, so... Fucking surprise, asshole. So, they got Hermes, Burst Laser 1, Charge, Hull Repair. So, I was wrong. Oh well, at least I can spend, spend a ton on that, and um, don't need extra drone parts, I don't think. I have 23 of them. That should probably do me. Do me solid. Do, do, do me, do me. Game. Seriously, I kind of owe it to you. Um, ask? These are dangerous times. First, we accept no trades, coupons, or refunds. Understood. Um, not a problem. Intruders on board. Okay, well, shit. Why, after all that, did they just fucking, like, attack me? They powered down my weapons entirely? Holy shit. What in hell's name is that? I, I've never seen this encounter before. I should probably power up a defense drone if they have a missile. My only option is to run away. That was goddamn ridiculous. I guess I could actually... Okay, interesting thing. Um, what are the levels? My pilot isn't fully leveled, neither is my engine guy. I could actually use this opportunity to permanently um, train up my my pilot and engine guys, because this is actually incapable of hurting me. All they have is ions, and I can evade a fair amount of the time. Well, apparently I should be able to, but the game doesn't seem to want to think that. And every time I evade, they'll level up a bit, so it's only going to take like four more evasions to level these guys up. I don't see why I wouldn't. I kind of wish I had higher level of engines for the purpose. For the porpoise. That's all right, one miss. I only need three more. Oh, really, none of those? None of those, none of those fucking missed. Okay, there we go, one more for him, and a few more for the engine guy, because the engines keep being disabled. 15 for the engine. Oh yeah, humans actually level up faster in terms of almost everything. I forgot about that. Oh, my drone system is down a bit. Oh, it's down entirely. Here, power that shit back up. Why did they depower their weapons? I don't understand. Come on, patience. Only need three more evasions. Then I will be all good. And that, I think that will bring my evade chance up to 40, even with only four bars activated. And there goes my O2 temporarily. Okay, one more. I mean, two more. Wow, yourself, you dickbag. Shields down. Shields up. I, I just don't even know what to comment on. I'll have a drink of my coffee, I guess. It's going to be a ridiculously long episode. I forgot to split it. Not that I care. Okay, engine guy's fully leveled up. Let's jump the fuck out of there. I guess if I had lots of drones, I could take that ship out. Okay, let's hope the next sector they have a battery and a mind control unit in a store. Because I could really use both those things. Explain your mission, they give me 10 fuel, I have more than enough fuel, more than enough everything. Now please just be shops somewhere. I could really use that mind control. <laughs> I didn't power up my weapons. Okay, shouldn't matter though, if I haven't powered up my weapons. I am pretty much in a good position anyways, because they will fire at me with like everything they've got. And I can even power up a defense drone. And then, oh man, they are taking the very, very wrong path to get out of here without taking damage. And then when all that fires, I can just cloak out of the way. And you know, I'll even depower the O2 and power this up. Oh man, I just got phase shift for that. I thought I already had that achievement. That's where I'm dodging a lot of things at once. You guys are really going in the wrong direction here. 
Actually, I want to keep this one open. Just reoxygenate these few areas. And now I can finally fucking attack them. Shields are entirely down. I'll go with my usual spread. Awesome. <laughs> oh, they are so fucked. They are royally fucked. I'm so happy with this ship. I'm pretty sure the flat cannon will just take them out, if I'm not mistaken. It's a really good thing I got this defense drone earlier. I'm not sure if the two defense drones will actually be any good for me, but I can always try. I will use this stuff before I um, fight the ship, by the way. All, all this um, scrap that I have, the almost 500 I have in reserve. Okay, they're hacking something, which means I'm just going to cloak right away and allow that to miss. And then I'm going to do that. And the glade beam will actually come in from the other side. Because I want these weapons and their hacking system down. Perfect. Poifect. And I can just keep that up. They'll die. They'll die eventually. And I can relax, you know, close my doors, heal up Scoops, because apparently Scoops needs some healing. Which one is Scoops? Here, Scoops? Fifty-eight scrap. Power up my med bay. Yeah. Power up my engines too, because why? Wait, but I didn't tell you. Oh, I accidentally pressed enter. Okay, there we go. Might as well be full health. Again, I'm just really hoping to find a shop. That's all I want. No shop, just my base. Maybe this will be a shop down here. If not, I'm pretty much this. This is it. This is what I got. Okay, is that a shop? No, it is not. That could be a shop up there. Might as well try. Um, I don't need this much money for a shop either way. So I might as well upgrade my doors to full, upgrade my sensors to full. No, I don't need to upgrade my sensors to full. Um, it still gives me five if I level this up once. So I might as well do that, level this up twice. Um, level up my oxygen just in case. I don't even need the power for that. My weapons are fully powered, my engines are fully powered, everything's fully powered except I have 230 remaining. I'll use it later if I need to. I'm gonna go here first just in the hopes of finding a shop and maybe getting some extra scrap to do even more upgrades. Oh, this one has a mind control unit which I'm gonna want to take down as quickly as possible. A good thing they mind controlled somebody goddamn useless. Well, not useless, but, you know, not bad. Should probably power up my defense drone here. Don't actually need to evade. These two could use some healing up. I see no reason not to. Power that down, power that up. Apparently I do still need some power. And that battery would be real nice, too. They only have one health left. That was a definite kill. Power that down, power that up, before I get my victory conditions. Was that a shop? Nope. <laughs> well, shit. Might as well just max power and... Do I want level 4 shields or even more evasion? Let's see, this will bring me up to 31 dodge. I might as well upgrade my piloting once, just in case. Doors I want to keep where they are. Max doors are really helpful. Hmm. I think shields are actually going to help me out more than uh, engines here. Lovely. Might as well fight the flagship now. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've won this. The mind control thing is going to be a huge pain in the ass, but... I'm also going to cloak. I don't want them to hack. It looks like they're hacking my engines, which would take my evade chance down to nothing. Um, as long as I can keep their weapons down-ish, I don't actually mind that. Let's attack with these two. All those hit. And... Wow. That is a opening salvo for fucking hell. Um, they're... 
missiles are entirely down, their shields are pretty much irreparable with the amount of ion stunners coming in, which is definitely a good thing. And the glaive beam... The glaive beam can get the finishing blow there if they ever come out of cloak. Missiles are what I'm kind of nervous about. Unfortunately, their missiles are entirely... Or, unfortunately for them, very fortunately for me, their missiles are entirely down. And they're dead! I like fucking record speeds for me killing that fucker. There's a repair station, I don't need it at all. So let's just head up to the base. Okay, so this time they have drone control. Probably a boarding drone, so let's actually cloak right away. And I'm uh, um, up my engines, and I can even up my O2 if I wanted, but I don't really want. Flak 2 and this at the same time. Glaive Beam will take out these three. Perfect. And then, you know, same second verse, same as the first, I guess. It's going to be a bit tough when the Power Surge comes along. They could do quite a bit of damage to me, but I do have my actual repair crew going on, too. Glade Beam's almost up, which should almost kill them. Oh, so close. Flak, I'm counting on you, Flak. Okay, stealth is going down. They're actually not managing to do much damage to me because of my huge evade chance and my good shields. Good shields keep on burning. Proud shields keep on turning. Cause I'm rolling, 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 rolling. Rawful stomping this boss. So here's what um O2 is good for. Just open all doors here. Power up the O2. These two won't take much damage as they repair this. Close all doors. And then heal these two. Gonna want to power down my O2 next run. And repair crew back in positions, and we can finish this fight the fuck off, I guess. I think. I, I don't see what could stop me. Apparently the, the defense drones were just a waste of goddamn money. Because I don't need them for anything. Okay, my weapons guy is currently being a dick. So, I'm going to try to... Okay, they're trying to get into there for some reason. Interesting. I want to drown my... Don't take out my weapons, motherfucker. Defense drone is actually good here because, um... I should really take to, take out, um, there. Ugh. I hate mind control. Okay, cloak for this. Power surge detected. Hopefully they do it while I'm cloaked. Um, can you get in here and distract him temporarily? Okay, my cloak was still up. You get out of there now. Oh, they're teleporting multiple crews on board, huh? Should be easy enough to deal with, especially with three people in here after this fucker dies. Here, you just die. How about that? Um, oh, the glade beam wasn't actually ready. I'm, I'm kind of failing at the micromanaging part here. Close all doors except for these two now. Fortunately, they're actually depriving themselves of people. And they're attacking my door room. Oh, there goes all their fucking people if this fails. Wow. You guys really... Stealth. Managed to avoid all that a second time. And then once this salvo comes through, I should be all good. I'm gonna want these guys to fight for a tiny bit. Because now I can take this shit out. Including the mind control. Mind control will stop. Then my next flak, or not my next, my next glaive beam can go like this here. 
They can actually teleport off board now, close all doors, they have no mind control, and they still have troops so they will not start auto repairing yet. This could hurt though. That did hurt a bit. You get in the O2 room. You deoxygenate. I have good evasion. Um, flat cannon should actually be like permanently firing on this. Ooh, that hurt a bit. Oh, and I, and I won. Lovely. Oh, that was a really good time. That was like everything going absolutely perfectly, including like fucking prophecy type predictions of what was going to happen next and just mind blown. Let's fucking put it that way. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and a comment and tell me how fucking ridiculous that shit was and answer the square root of 734. All that jazz. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.